Dr. David Ron, thank you for this time today and for your lecture at our Yale Youth Ministry Institute lecture. You have trained thousands of youth ministers. You've taught in a university setting training youth ministers for decades. You have trained them up in your Youth for Christ, which has thousands of settings all around the world. If there's a youth minister, somebody who wants to be a youth minister, uh, just happens to be clicking on this video, and you had only one thing to say to them that you want to share about youth ministry, what would the one thing be? Faithfulness with Jesus Christ is enough. Everybody I know manages and tries to navigate multiple expectations, including the ones that we lay on ourselves. Most people can articulate at any point in time competing agendas that are not good versus bad, they're good versus good. I want to be a great speaker because that's what God's equipped me to do. It's put a passion in my heart. I want to be a great dad because, you know, that's, that's a, a discharge and a, a stewardship and a, a gift from God. What's it take to be a great speaker? What's it take to be a great dad? You're going to compete for those same hours. You know, to learn your craft by, by putting time and going out on the road and to be a good dad that's present and things like that. And um, good luck if you think the way to get there is by taking a legal pad out and doing pros and cons or trying to, quote, balance the time. I have no, the outcomes I seek are way too high stakes for me to apply my own wisdom in balancing those efforts. I need supernatural advice. Where will I get that? It's Jesus within me. I'm going to take this to Jesus. I'm going to take the agendas that he's laid on my heart to him and recognize that in his guidance, in his leading, in his coaching and tutorial, if I'm open and I recognize that he's going to, he's going to sometimes say things that I don't want to hear, there's going to be some painfulness in, that, in my journey of growth. I don't get any extra credit for going faster than Jesus. Pacing with him, as my friend Rick Dunn wrote, with Jesus, faithfulness is enough. There's a precision about that target that liberates me from everything else. And so at the end of the day, all I could say was I was faithful to Jesus. My question to my Youth for Christ uh, colleagues around the country who are in charge of noble missions in their cities is if your staff were faithful to Jesus today, would that satisfy your job description? Would that, would that be enough for your job? I know, I know it's enough for him. My question is, is it enough for the ministry that we've articulated? And I actually think there's a lot of people who are in ministry leadership all over the place who are bound up because of the expectations of others and themselves about ministry that eclipse and sort of deny them the opportunity to think and be really clear-minded about faithfulness to Jesus being enough um, for everything else in life.